Welcome back guys to yet another Dazzled or Disappointed review video, this time on the new Stila Eye for Elegance um, eye sh I was going to say eyeshadow set. It is a liquid eyeshadow set. Um, shimmer and glow and then glitter and glow and if y'all have seen my previous reviews on the glitter and glow eyeshadows or I guess glitters, whatever you want to call them, you know I absolutely love the formula, love the sparkle. It's something that I just is probably on my top 10 list of favorite makeup items of all time. So when I had seen that this palette really or that this set released, I thought, okay, first off, how many of the glitter and glow shades do I have? Because I own most of them. And so I saw that I only owned one of them. And then I saw that the three shimmering glows are brand new. And so I thought, okay, I think I want to get my hands on that. So in addition to it being a benefit for me, because it's something I want to try and I want to get my hands on, it in turn becomes a benefit for you because I can then review it for you and let you know if it is worth it. So let's just go ahead and jump into this review so I can give you descriptions, swatches, thoughts, all of the above. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, as usual, I am first going to give you the pricing and description from the Sephora website because that is where I picked it up from. It is also available on the Stila Cosmetics website. I do prefer when brands release these kinds of things, I really prefer to purchase from Sephora because of the return policy. It gives me a little bit of more um, comfort, you know, peace of mind knowing that if I absolutely hate it, uh, it's just an easy ship back for free um, for a refund. So. I did purchase mine through Sephora for $45, uh, and to give you the description, it is a set of six deluxe size eyeshadows featuring new shimmer and glow shades. These shadows feature a water-infused formula that is lightweight and glides on effortlessly. Uh, it dries down smoothly and comfortably. The unique combination of varying size, uh, sizes of pearl and glitter offer maximum sparkle with minimum fallout. So you get, um, let me see, okay. So as part of the Shimmer and Glow set of three, which um, is not glittery, sparkly, it literally is like a, as best I could describe it, like a highlight for your eyes, kind of, like a, a glow is best I can describe it. So you get Kitten, which you know is Stila's signature shade. They come out with Kitten in everything that they release. Um, you get Grace and you get Twig. So an FYI, Grace is what I am wearing on my eyelids today. And then as far as the Glitter and Glow, for those of you who own some of the Glitter and Glow shades, you're getting Kitten, Grace, uh, no you're not, I'm sorry. Hold on. Ugh, okay. I totally am, you're gonna laugh. I went to reading the English side and then I went to reading the French side, and I'm like, why are they called the same? I know it. <laughs> okay, let's take two. <laughs> okay, so on the shimmer and glow side, you get kitten, grace, and twig. On the um, glitter and glow side, you get peachy sheen, smoldering satin, and next to note. Uh, so just to let you know, peachy sheen is a brand new shade exclusive to this set. Smoldering Satin was part of their original lineup. And then next to Nate is the most recent version that was exclusive to VIB Rouge members at Sephora. I don't know if it still is, uh, but it is the red version that re is basically their most recent. Um, and I think they are in the works for releasing a new permanent shade, um, coppery kind of shade. Anyways, so let's just go ahead and get into swatches for this. Now, Smoldering Satin, I do own the large, um, the regular size. And so it was one of those things where when I was going to pick it up, I said, okay, how many of these do I own? I own Smoldering Satin. Um, next to Nate, I had not picked up because it was so similar to the previous one to that, which was kind of a rusty red. I can't even remember the name. And so I had skipped out on Next to Note, um, which now I am so glad I did because it comes in this set. And then Peachy Sheen being the um, newest shade or shade exclusive to this, obviously um, I don't own it. So um, no one owns it unless they have it in this set. So let's go ahead and 
pull out this little tray. Now I am going to let you know, it's always kind of a toss up when you're looking at these things on the Sephora website. Okay, like I see the picture, but how deceiving is the picture as in regards to the size? I am not really good at deciphering size based on like 0 0.27 milliliters and all that stuff. Like just let me just see the bottle or the jar or the package, whatever. <laughs> so just to give you an idea, let me see if I can find the sizes on here. And there are six of them at 0 0.07 ounces. So yes, kind of tiny. Um, but at a rate in which you use eyeshadow, I mean, like literally you'd have to, you'd have to be using these for a little bit to go through them. Um, but just know that is the size. So they come in a little tray like this, separated in sets of three. This is the little size of the bottle, just so that you have an idea. So yes, it is small. In fact, let me grab you one of the full sizes, and that way you can see the true comparison. Okay, so here is full size. Here is baby size. So see, they are definitely, I mean, there's a, a good difference in size, but truly and honestly, when am I ever gonna go through one of these? I don't wear these on a daily basis. In fact, I don't even know that I wear them on a monthly basis. I probably should, because I love them that much. But um, let me see if these say how much are in here. I don't even know if I'm gonna spend the time to try and find it. Anyways, definitely a difference in size. Um, so little baby sizes. Um, and so let me show you the swatches. Like I said, I am wearing Grace on my eyelids today. So I will bring you in here in just a bit so that you can see. And again, these are called Shimmer and Glow as opposed to Glitter and Glow. So let me go ahead and swipe these on my hand so that I can give you the swatches. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here are the swatches of all three of the Shimmer and Glow. You can already see they have a very uh, kind of metallic slash frosty type finish, and that is the finish that gives it the glow description. Um, so again, it is from bottom to top, it is Kitten, Grace, and Twig. And that Twig color is going to be so perfect for fall. Really, really like the color selection. Yes, Kitten and Grace are Pretty similar in color, uh, Grace being a little bit darker, more of a taupe, with Kitten being more of a champagne, but I could see how people would consider it to be a little too similar. You know, if you're getting a set of minis, you kind of want a good little variety. However, I do like the variety. I think it's, it's kind of nice. I especially love this one. <laughs> Very, very fall appropriate, even taking it into winter. So that's what those look like. Let me swatch the glitter and glow on the back of my hand, and I will give you swatches of those here in a sec. Okay guys, now we're moving on to the glitter and glow side of the set. Um, with this being the, these being the swatches, um, Peachy Sheen, Smoldering Satin, and Next to Note, with uh, that one being, again, just like Twig in the last set of three, this third one is, again, probably more the fall slash winter appropriate. If you guys, again, referring to my last videos on these um, when they release them, like, as part of the permanent line, I love them. The sparkle factor in these is like no other I have ever come across. They don't, like, the glitter doesn't flake into my eyes. I don't have issues with these whatsoever, and it gives me the intensity of glitter that I really love. I'm just one of those people who love sparkle, and these do it for me. So, this is, again, Peachy Sheen Smoldering Satin next to Note. Peachy Sheen, I was reading the uh, reviews on the Sephora website, and some people were saying that Peachy Sheen is just too um, sheer. It really just kind of gives you a wet look with a little bit of sparkle. So, the thing about it is it's called Peachy Sheen. So it is going to be literally just a sheen with some sparkle. It's not going to have the opacity that you've come to expect from the Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. So Smoldering Satin, again, being one of the permanent ones, you may have already come across that one. You may own it. Very good chance you own it. So that's that taupey color. And then up here, you have got the, again, kind of a more fall winter appropriate. It is like a burnt red type shade, almost like a, I'm trying to think how I could describe it. It's a darker red. It's not a bright red. However, it is definitely red. So it, all three of them have an amazing sparkle factor. To give you an idea, Peachy Sheen, I, again, when I zoom you in, you'll see it is on my lower lash line, and I really, really like it. If you want a very, very natural look, but you still want the sparkle, this one is ideal. If you don't want to go heavy, smoky, um, you're not looking for a... Okay, I am one of those who will wear glitter during the day. I will wear glitter to, uh, to work. I don't save it for nighttime, for outings. 
I don't do a whole lot of nighttime outings, so it's kind of wasted on me to do, you know, save those kinds of things for nighttime outings. If I want to get used to my stuff, I gotta use it during the day. And so, um, I, again, I do use mine during the day, but if you're one of the ones who likes to save these types of things for an evening look, if you go out at night, if you go to dinners, if you go out with your friends, whatever the case may be, um, I get that too, but this peachy sheen is perfect for you who want kind of more of a natural look during the day, but you still want a little bit of that sparkle factor. That peachy sheen is perfect. I'm not opposed to it not being super opaque because all of the others that they've released have been very opaque, so I'm okay with that. So that's what those three look like. Now, let me go ahead and zoom you in so that you can put these down so I don't drop them. Let me zoom you in and I will tell you what I am wearing on my eyes. So I have got grace all over the lid. Um, and as you can tell, it is super, that glow factor really is there. So I, what I did was when I pulled the wand out of the bottle, I grabbed a brush, um, a shader brush, and I grabbed some off of the little doe foot applicator and patted it on my eye. I didn't go in with the wand like I sometimes do because so much product comes out on that little wand. So I do have grace all over the lid. Now, I also put a little bit of the peachy sheen glitter right in the center. Not much and it didn't make a whole lot of difference because Grace is already so glowy that um, it, it, you can't, it doesn't even stand out. Grace is what really is standing out. I did put Peachy Sheen on the lower lash line. That is why the lower lash line is sparkly. The rest that's on my crease and outer corner is the new Viseart Golden Hour palette, which I will be reviewing here after this video, so stay tuned for that. But that is how that performs on the eye. I'm wearing, again, one of the uh, shimmer and glows and one of the glitter and glows, and truly and honestly, I couldn't be happier. I love this set. Um, the thing about it is if you already have smoldering satin that takes it down to a set of five for you really. Um, now if you already own next to Nalte and smoldering satin then it takes it down to four and it becomes more of a I don't know if I want to spend forty five dollars for four very small products. Uh, if you don't have if you haven't tried any of the Stila Glitter and Glow this set is perfect for you to try out because you get, again, three of the Glitter and Glow. They don't go fast. This You will get good use out of this, trust me, because um, a little goes a pretty long way. I usually go in two or three times to try and pack on glitter. In this case, I went, on, I went in twice to get the eye look with the shade Grace. I did go on twice, I did two layers, and I did do it over top of primer. Um, however, the other day I wore Kitten just on the lid, which I never do that, but just out of curiosity to test it out. I wore it for the day with no primer and I had no problems. So it dries down and it really stays put, which is nice. Uh, so I really think this is a good set. For $45 and you get three of the brand new Shimmer and Glow and then you get three of the Glitter and Glow, which I am over the moon for. And it is very, very fall and winter appropriate because it's got those two shades that will take you into winter and fall. And then, I mean, even champagne shades are perfect because you can then in the crease and in the outer corner, you mix it up with some fall wintry shades. So what I did was in my, um, outer on the outer portion of my lid I used kind of a cranberry color um, to kind of make it a little bit more fall appropriate and then I pulled it in with the lip to kind of make it overall fall appropriate so really really love this set I do think it's a dazzled so the thing about it is regarding the price is that you end up having to do the math, which I hate because math has never been my strongest subject. However, one of these is $24 and these are 0 0.15 ounces. I just looked it up on the Sephora website. These are 0.7. So technically two of them is right, right close to one of these because it's 0.14 ounces for two of these, 0.15 in one of these. So at $24, you've got so every two would technically be one of these. So you've got one, two, three, technically almost three full-size bottles of it right here, which would equal about $72. I think someone's gonna correct me on my math. <laughs> I'm just doing it in my head. Anyways, uh, 24, let's see, one, two, three. 
yeah, $72. So you'd be just shy of three of these, let's just equate it to $70, and this is $45. So in essence, you really are getting a good deal. Um, at first, when you see the sizes, it may not seem like it, because I am the first person to be like, oh, that's you're not getting a whole lot for the price. No, you really are. It's almost like you're getting three of those full size. And if you, again, don't own any of the Glitter and Glow, absolutely a great deal for you. For those of you who just want to try it out because of the um, shimmer and glow, yeah, you'd be paying probably a little more than you would, um, but then again, you get these, um, well, Peachy Sheen is new, so technically you'd be getting four, <laughs> but they're perfect for travel. If you already have a couple of them and you just want to throw one in your bag for travel, that's amazing too. So $45, I think it's a great deal. Um, it's You get to try these new products. I am loving them. These wear, the Shimmer and Glow wear all day. Uh, the Glitter and Glow, I find that I do not need a glitter glue because the base is already kind of creamy. It dries down. And I think I've heard people say they get fallout with this glitter. I don't rub my eyes once I put it on. So I don't have the fallout issue with glitter all over my face. Like I said, these things, they don't fall into my eye so I don't have the whole like issue in the middle of the day like, oh, in, it's in my contact lenses. So really, really great deal. Um, if you are interested in picking this up, I really would go for it. Um, it is limited edition. It is specific to the holidays. Um, it was recently released, so you probably got a little bit of time. Um, as far as waiting for the VIB Rouge or VIB sale in November, um, it, it's always a toss up on, I don't, you know, it, how popular something's going to be. If People love, end up loving this, word of mouth spreads, it sells out. Um, if not, you know, hey, people are kind of picking it up but not in super high demand, then absolutely you'll be able to pick it up at 20% off during the sale. But at $45, it is a great deal, a great product. I love it. I'm super dazzled by it and I can't wait uh, to keep using these for the holiday season because of the looks that I'm gonna create with these um, two darker shades. So right up my alley. I love it. Super happy with this purchase. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful if you were kind of wondering if you needed to pick this up or not. But I do need to give you the verse of the day before I let you go as always and today's comes from Psalm 68 19 and it says praise be to the Lord to our God and Savior who daily bears our burdens um, can't ask for anything more than someone who will help you bear your burdens and trust me when I say that life can be very difficult and when you have somebody there to help you bear your burdens it's amazing and no one can bear your burdens like Jesus does. So guys, I hope this has given you a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of inspiration. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider doing so. Um, this way you're notified of future videos that I post and I seem to be uh, blowing up y'all's notifications, I think, because <laughs> I've been posting daily, which is not very usual for me. I try to post two to three times a week, uh, but with all of the releases, for holiday, it's been literally a daily thing. So <laughs> I hope you'll consider subscribing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.